Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vikas Nana, and in today's video, I will talk to you about how you can install CyberPanel on DigitalOcean. I will show you two methods. The first method uses an automatic script on DigitalOcean which installs CyberPanel on your VPS. The second method involves going to CyberPanel's website and creating a free account there. Then you need to enter the credentials of your VPS, whether it's on DigitalOcean or elsewhere, and CyberPanel will automatically install. CyberPanel offers two plans, a free plan and a paid plan. In this video, we'll use the free plan. Because it provides all the features you need. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up a mail server on CyberPanel. And in another video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a website on CyberPanel, as it's an alternative to cPanel. It's a web hosting management panel where you can manage all your web applications and websites. It also provides features like SSL, automatic backups and more. So we'll start with a brief overview of CyberPanel, then install it. We'll set up the mail server, and after that, you can install WordPress or any other script you need. So now, let's switch to the screen and continue the video. I'm now at my laptop screen. In this video, we'll discuss how to install CyberPanel on DigitalOcean. The next video will cover setting up a mail server and a website with CyberPanel. Now, let's go to DigitalOcean and create a droplet. I'll show you the first method, which is automatic. Then I'll explain the second method. First, go to the marketplace after creating a droplet. Type Cyber in the search bar. Cyber panel will appear. Select it. I'll choose the $10 machine. Then, select any region that's near you or relevant to your target audience. For example, if your visitors are from India, Select Bangalore for better speed. Choose a data center close to your target audience. I'll leave the other settings as they are. Now, I'll create a password that I'll use throughout this video. A strong password is generated automatically. In this video, I'll show you everything. Let's generate a longer password. I'll copy the generated password and paste it here. For the host name, I'll use the domain I'm going to use in this video. I've copied and pasted it here. Now I'll click on Create Droplet. It will start installing in a few seconds or minutes. It will take about 2 or 3 minutes to install. I'll pause the video during this time. CyberPanel has now been installed. That's the first method. Now for the second joy it uses automation for installation. Go to CyberPanel's pressing page. There's a free version available. Look for free for life and click on get started. You'll need to sign in or create a new account. I'll create a temporary account like this and use my password here. Enter this and they'll send a verification code to your email. I'll enter the code here. The code is 9045. I'll click on Finish Registration. Now you're logged in. 
They've also made a video tutorial, which you can watch. Click on Deploy Now. When you click it, you'll see. Here you need to enter your VPS credentials. As I've done on DigitalOcean, I've selected Ubuntu and chosen a $10 machine. I've entered the root password and hostname. You need to enter your VPS IP. The username is always root by default. Select the end server, choose Open Lightspeed because it's free, and the port is 22, which is the default SSH port. Enter the root password here. After completing all these steps, you need to deploy it. Select these options and click on Deploy. It will then install on your VPS, regardless of whether it's on DigitalOcean or another platform. You can also use this method if you're using a VPS from another provider. Remember to choose Open Lightspeed, not Apache or Jinx. Let's continue with the first method for now, as it's already installed. After this, you need to use PuTTY or any SSH client you prefer. I'll open PuTTY and click OK. I'll copy the password, the username is root. Enter the password and press enter. It's asking if you want to proceed. Type yes. It will then update some settings. Let it update and we'll continue the video after it's done. The update has completed. Now you need to log in to the Cyber Panel Admin Panel. The address is your IP address followed by the default port. I'll open a private tab and enter the address. Let me copy it correctly and enter it here, your IP and the port number. The login page will appear. The default username is admin and the default password is 123-4567. If this doesn't work, run this command in your terminal. It will show you the admin password. This is my admin password. I'll type it in, click paste, and sign in. Now you're logged into the cyber panel. There are many options here, user, website, database, DNS. First, let's connect your domain to CyberPanel. Go to Website. Click on Create Website and enter your domain name. I'll leave the package as default for now. I'll explain it later. The owner is admin, this is the domain, and the email is admin at admin. Let's keep PHP 7.4, enable DKIM support, and I'll explain the other options later. Click on Create Website. I'll explain the other features as we cover each topic. Now that it's installed, let's move on.
Go to DNS and click on Create Name Server because CyberPanel will manage our DNS. First, go to Name Server. Use custom name servers. I'll copy this. The first custom name server is NS1 and the second is NS2. I've updated my name servers. Now I need to connect it with the IP. Click here and copy the IP. Go to register a record. Enter the IP here and set it to NS1, connecting it to this IP. Click the plus sign. NS1 is done, now click NS2. This will also get connected to the same IP. After this, come here, enter the domain. Copy it and paste the domain name here. Name server NS1, paste it. Second name server NS2, and it's asking for the IP here. My IP is here too. Click here and create the name server. Now you've come here, this is following. The name server has just been created, so CyberPanel will manage all the DNS here. Go back to your dashboard. Your name servers have been updated, CyberPanel has been installed, and your name servers have been updated. The domain will be indexed after some time. In this video, I wanted to show you how to install CyberPanel. In the next video, we'll discuss two things. How to set up your mail server, install SSL on it, and in the video after that, how to set up your website and install SSL on it. Many more videos related to CyberPanel and other mail server topics will be coming, so please subscribe as I'll keep releasing such videos. I've already made many videos related to email marketing, including Power MTA, Webman, Postal, and CPanel. All these videos are on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. Visit the website as well because all the commands I use are posted in my website's blog. Thanks for watching.